Hello everybody and welcome back to Control. So let's continue with proceeding to the mailroom and finding that object of power. Okay. Doesn't look so pretty to me. So I'm standing this blood, but does this blood leave... Can I leave footsteps? Doesn't leave footsteps. Uh oh. What are you? F oh, this is a boss. Gotta be kidding me. Tomasi, what a what the hell is Tomasi? Okay, he's super fast. Okay, let's go upstairs. Gotta be kidding me. It's not breaking. Okay, let's throw a couch. God damn it. Uh, it does some damage, but um, not too much. Okay, we're doing progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're an aggressive one, aren't you? Yeah, you just throw that stuff into the column. You can do it. You're good at it. You're very good at it. See? Oh, you're leaving so soon? I have a feeling he'll. Hmm. Yeah, he'll be back. That's not good. Field research on his entity. He's elevated agent. His elevated engines display abilities similar to the contrib con competencies observed in Bureau parol Paroletarians. Some prefer to charge their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the His elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some his elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely a result of individual being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in um, parapsychology. How are they able to use supernatural abilities? Is it possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption? It's also worth considering that the his resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals it corrupts. Be back. Okay. Let's They'll be back. Focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Yeah. But but before we pass it. I just wanna I just want to have a quick look here. That's a lovely song. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff here, but not all of them is useful. Okay. I came through here and yeah, 
gonna go to the hotline chamber then. Doesn't seem like I can do anything here. Okay. This is the couch I threw. Okay, that guy went up there. Hope he doesn't Alberto do something Tomasi, funny. Head of oh. Okay, so this was Tomasi. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. The hiss got him. So this was the. Yeah, the hiss got him. Okay, what about this? Case files. Bottle AWE 17. Event summary. A spate of disappearance was traced to a home in a city of Butte, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch court. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at which had been connected in total of disappearance in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident. Hmm. That's, that's, uh, that's strange. Okay. All right, so. take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Yeah. The hotline can't be far now. Okay, hotline chamber, here I come. It can be, can it? Is Tomas is going to be back for us? Probably will. Oh, wait a minute. I can hear it. Okay. Just in case. Hotline chamber. Hotline security log. All visitors must check in. Okay, it just shows the check-ins. How about this one? Uh, bottle su supplement. Bud supplement. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error after pulling another model core found inside the room. They were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the, of the home's owner and the other locals of the Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Oshinu Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the current identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, light cords have been found in the oldest house located in and sectors. All these access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link 
operate is unknown, but initial hypothesis center on the debut AWE as um yeah. I don't like that spin. Some of these are just deleted like that. Pisses me off. How do we get there? Um, should I take a leap of faith? Hotline chamber. This is the only entrance. Maybe I can float. Or... Whoa. Have we okay. been here before? No. What the? Hated a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Okay, this is the pyramid shaped room, the inverted one. But goddamn, I just. I. I got teleported here. Hello? Now I somehow knew. Anyone here? What the? What the? I somehow knew that this would happen. I was worrying, wondering if I would go to this hotel. And it seems like I did. Seems like I did. Mm. No. Well. We all know where we have to go, that's obvious. So we are gonna go and head in. This one's strange. Every door in this side has a, has a different mark on it. But we're gonna go to this one. No, we don't. Okay. Then we leave. Okay. No? What the hell is happening? Okay. I'm back. Hmm. Okay, I don't get it. What should I be doing here? Janitor? Nope. Let's go outside. <laughs> Not a chance. What's up we should be doing here? Oh. You see the light there changed for a moment? Come on. But there's no changes here, so... Hmm. I guess if I just go and float, you know, try to traverse it, I will just die. Okay. That's the same. And now we're back. Hmm. Okay, maybe by doing this. Maybe I somehow can access. No. Okay, leap of faith. Oh, yes, you die. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. 
You cannot traverse it like that. There is some kind of a riddle that needs to be solved. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, don't tell me I have to go through the boss fight again. Gotta be kidding me. Well, not the boss fight, but there are some enemies that spawned. Come on, dude. Didn't you die? Yeah, I don't have time for you guys. But the music still plays, so I wonder if they're gonna come... ...come to me. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like mm. all of them like something recognized from a dream hello anyone here i swear that i heard something unlock No? Okay, you see that? The rooms are opening. Okay, so this thing actually does something. I knew it. I knew this had to be something to do with this. Okay, there's another one. Okay, we got something. Black pyramid on it. We got... Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. Okay. Maybe we can open something else. Okay, number one. Number two. Number three. No, nothing else. Okay. Okay, and guess where we're gonna be now? Inside the room. Well, a bridge just happened to appear. Should I pick this up or not? It's time to see. Complete the Astro Plane Challenge. Okay, but what would you just acquired though? What did I just acquire? This doesn't look good. The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Okay. It doesn't look like it wants to talk. Okay, I better I better just go. I better just go fast and to the um, to that to that part. Where's the pyramid? This humongous pyramid. This has no boundaries 
We're gonna pick up the phone on the other side. Okay. Okay. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. Hmm. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Can reach trench well listen to him he feels more like an echo an echo with important info i need to get back to emily all right sounds good uh before we do that is there anything we can use exclusive to shatter no we got some collectibles case file hotline yep Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 9060 era red backlit telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of a known purpose. Uh, the object allows the director to communicate with the uh, astral plane. If used by anyone else in the director, the object will cause lethal death. <laughs> okay, we got it then. Okay. What are these? Uh, trench. It's like videos, or can you just call somebody? What the hell is this? Is it like a message? It took us a long... Wait. Something's coming. The whisper's growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. A retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built, destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of the attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. The thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Oh, 
Okay, so this looks like messages. People react so, saying strongly stuff about the story. When I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Tell about us, the player. <laughs> well, that's some weird stuff. All right. We're gonna go and head to Emily, but that's gonna happen in the next video. So, um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'm gonna see you in the next video of Control, where we're gonna um, further expand into this story.